Hello and welcome to the very first edition of Samvad Samachar. Over the next five days, this daily news bulletin on the Samvad Tribal Conclave will be your one-stop shop for the day's key moments as well as details on what's in store at this unique initiative of Tata Steel. So let's look at the highlights of Samvad so far. Representatives from over 100 tribes from across the country and abroad have come together in India's steel city, Jamshedpur. The initiative, which is now in its fourth year, began in grand style with 111 drummers matching beat on traditional nagaras. Samvad goes international. This year, representatives of tribes from Canada, Kenya, Zimbabwe and Australia join our unique platform that celebrates diversity. What's in store? A whole host of engaging activities that promote tribal culture, cuisine, handicrafts, traditional healing and a lot more. Commemorating the birth anniversary of the iconic tribal leader, Birsa Munda, as well as the foundation day of the state of Jharkhand, the four-day Samvad conclave was inaugurated on 15th November. The one-of-a-kind platform that provides an opportunity for the tribal community to voice their issues and showcase their ethnicity has now entered its fourth year. Let's hear what Tata Steel's Vice President for Corporate Services, Mr. Sunil Bhaskaran, and Mr. Biren Bhuta, Chief of CSR, have to say about the fact that the conclave this year has gone international. And it's a great pleasure that this year we are actually able to get some of the tribal communities internationally from, uh, from uh, the countries that we are operating in. When we had conceptualized Sambad uh, three years back in 2014, uh, we had uh, envisaged a platform which is truly international. So the, for the first three years, we tried to bring various tribal communities from different states of the country. But this year, in 2017, we have actually gone global. We've got tribal communities, indigenous communities from Australia, Canada, Kenya and Zimbabwe. The idea going forward is that this becomes a true global platform for indigenous communities around the world, where they can converge, where they can share ideas, uh, discuss their issues, share their angst and anguish, also share their dreams and aspirations, find creative solutions for their problems, and celebrate their unique tribal culture and identity. Mr. Bhaskaran, joined by our president for TQM and Steel Business, Mr. Anand Sain, and other senior dignitaries, inaugurated Samvad 2017 along with 111 drummers of Jharkhand's tribal community. The pulsating beat of these traditional instruments set the tone for the excitement expected over the next few days here at Jamshedpur. The theme of this year's conclave is aspiration of tribal youth and leadership for future. Through the next four days, youth leaders will be given a platform to exchange their ideas and the issues they are facing in order to learn from one another and make a lasting impact in their communities. Mr. Biren Bhuta had this to say about the importance of encouraging leadership among the tribal youth. If tribal youth and educated tribal youth from those communities are made aware of their rights, of their responsibilities, are given some inputs on leadership, and they can then demonstrate this leadership after going back to their communities, they can define what development they want, whose development, uh, what will be the nature of their development, and they can take this agenda forward, then I think true development will happen within the tribal communities. And that is the entire objective behind this year's theme of building leadership amongst tribal youth. What about leaders of the tribal community? What message do they have on youth leadership? Let's hear from noted activist and Padma Shri awardee Tulsi Munda. <laughs> Samwa 2017 also provides tribal communities an opportunity to highlight the vibrancy of their cultures. Special stalls have been set up to sensitize the broader community on the importance of traditional medicine as well as workshops on tribal healers. 
sessions have been organized to demonstrate tribal cuisine, music and dance. A special addition to this year's conclave is the inclusion of tribal sports. With that, we conclude our Samvad Samachar. I hope all of you can join us over the next four days and immerse yourself in our rich heritage. Thank you for watching. Here's wishing more power to our tribes.